Surprisingly, some of these uh, ropes are still holding on here after that lightning strike. And uh, never mind. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are back with Floating Sandbox, and we are checking out a brand new update that adds drivable ships. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. So as you can see, we are starting out with the Costa Concordia, and um, one thing that is interesting to me is that there are two engine controls, so um, obviously we can't turn the ship left or right because it's a 2D game, but um, let's see what happens. So there's one engine, and that light just popped on. Hold on. If I stop it, does that light turn off? Oh yeah, it does. Interesting. Okay, let's just do that and that. Okay, so it just makes it go faster. So, uh, yeah, there is the Costa Concordia. Uh-oh, something seems to be happening. Uh-oh, tsunami warning. Well, this isn't good. There's only one thing we can do, and it's exactly what we're doing right now. Go straight towards it. See what happens. Well, the rope immediately snapped. And uh, the ship is starting to get lifted out of the water here. I don't foresee the ship actually flipping over. But that could happen. Well, it is definitely jumping out of the water now. And it is in free fall. This is it. I wonder if the actual impact with the water is going to break the ship in half. That will be interesting to see. And splash down onto the water. Still running, perfectly fine. Besides uh, a rope being broken and um, some water coming in, but that's it. Here we have a uh, little tiny fireboat, and uh, there's something else that's been added to the game that is pretty neat, and that is weather. Specifically, storms, and uh, also lightning. So let's go ahead, set this little uh, ship, whoa, uh, to head slow and um, let's spawn a little bit of a storm. I hope the ship doesn't sink because of the waves. That would be disappointing. Whoa, there we go, and we have a lightning strike. So it, it did damage the uh, the top of the mast, or the uh, radio antenna. So we probably would have lost um, some some communication there, and we just lost pretty much all the communication there because of the uh, lightning taking out more of the mast. Yeah, the storm is definitely starting to... I say that, and the lightning is still going crazy. But you can start to see some more blue sky. And, uh, yeah. The good news is, the fireboat is not on fire. If it was, it would be pretty well prepared for that. So we are gonna hit the uh, border wall here, and let's see what happens. Complete destruction. Wow. Alright then. All right, here we have the SS Atlantic, and I think it's fitting to bring in another storm, especially because of the masts, and also because the ship did sink in a storm uh, after grounding on some rocks. So yeah, now I am guessing that the lightning is going to strike one of these masts and immediately catch those masts on fire, which could spread throughout the ship. But uh, so far, the SS Atlantic is pretty lucky. Uh, no lightning strikes yet, well, on the ship. But uh, we just saw one over there, and then over there, okay. We are starting to see some water from the rain flooding into the ship, so that's not good. Oh god, some of these cabins are already full of water. Actually, that's not a cabin, that's a, an eating or seating area. The SS Atlantic is uh, really trying to uh, push through these waves, and there we go. A lightning strike and uh, fire. Yeah, so we got a little bit of fire, but it's not spreading. Probably because the uh, either the water is uh, suppressing the fire or something else. But uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of water in some of these rooms on board the ship. And there we go, another lightning strike and more fire. Surprisingly, some of these uh, ropes are still holding on here after that lightning strike. And uh, never mind. <laughs> there they go. Um, the lightning took care of that one. This entire room here is completely flooded, along with that one, these two, and uh, some of these down here. And there is another lightning strike. What's interesting is that we haven't seen any lightning strikes that have hit the deck, only the masts. So, um, that's a little strange, but I can understand that because the lightning is um, striking the highest point on the ship. I'm actually more concerned about the uh, water than the lightning at this stage because there's quite a lot of water right now inside the ship. 
and I think it's settled to a point where the water is like going over the deck so that's not good yeah this thing is gonna sink there is no doubt about that oh yeah it's going the ship is absolutely sinking at this stage you can see how much water is now just entering this one area of the ship. Okay, yep, I can visibly see the ship sinking at this stage. It's time to stop the vessel. Oh, it's too late, and it's gone. It is plunging. One more lightning strike for bad luck, because it is sinking. And, um, there we are. The SS Atlantic has sunk. Alright, so here we have the Titanic, and we are just going to go ahead and go to full speed. And we are going to try to recreate the sinking as accurately as possible. Um, Timing-wise, not really, but just, um, you know, the ship moving and everything-wise. But, uh, yeah, so we got the ship moving, and it is at full speed. Or just about now. So we're just going to have the collision. So there we go, and let's put the engines into reverse actually they would have gone to stop so the ship's engines would have been stopped and then they would have actually started up the ship again not to full speed but I think probably ahead slow for a little while but at this time they would have completely stopped the propellers are now completely out of the water I bet there's quite a lot of panic on deck now of course, seeing the water flooding down the boat deck. And the bridge is, uh, is now gone. It has now submerged under the water. Titanic is really going 1997-style sinking here. Or the movie sinking version. And the ship breaks in half. There we are. And the bow is plunging down. And the stern settles back there. But for how long? That is the question. Alright, after some encouragement, the stern has decided to sink. And, uh, yeah. There we are. And the stern slips under the waves. And there goes Titanic. Alright guys, if you're into this, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.